Yo, what's up, YouTube? Mike from Troopers here. And today, we're going to be looking at the Detroit Lions schedule. Now, we already did the Chicago Bears. We finished the NFC East. Make sure you go watch those videos before watching this. Now, the, the Detroit Lions. All right, this is going to be a bit of a sorry video. Now, last year, man, I thought that Matt Stafford, Galladay, Marvin Jones, I thought they upgraded their defense. I said 12-4 and four for the Detroit Lions. And I know that's embarrassing. Whatever, I'll take the hate. I, they went 5-11. and 11. Big disappointment. Stafford was injured. Galladay was injured a little bit. Their defense was the worst in the league. But this year, things are different. And if you're a Lions fan, this is going to be brutal. So the way we start these videos out, we talk about the team itself. Did they do good? Did they, did they do bad in free agency? So this team, all downgrades. Now, they got some good future assets in return for Matthew Stafford. But you can't compensate for what he brought to the table. Now, Jared Goff, I think he could have a good season this year. He's going to ball out, in my opinion. He, he's not terrible. It's Jared Goff. He's like a medium slash high level quarterback. Um, but how is he going to escalate this team? He can't. Let me tell you why. This team's main flaw, besides its lackluster defense, is its receiver core. Let me just, the receiver core, we have Brashad Perryman, Tyrell Williams, and Geronimo Allison. Now, <laughs> okay. All three of these receivers are new to the team. And if you look at their stats individually, none of these receivers has really had a great year. Now, Tyrell Williams, he had a good year back in 2016, but after that, it's been 600 yards every season. Not great. Rashad Perryman, honestly, I didn't think he did that bad with the um, Jets last year, but to be honest, still, he's not like the best guy on the team. And then we have the last dude, Geronimo Allison, who I want to call Geronimo Stilton. If you know who Geronimo Stilton is, the, little, the rat from those books, then you're a real one. But uh, Geronimo Allison, definitely not a real one. 300 yards a season, not great. This receiver core sucks. This defense, not great either. Uh, this is a rebuilding team, and their record prediction re reflects that. Starting things off, we have the San Francisco 49ers, home game for Detroit. The 49ers, a lot of people back from injury. They're going to be a good team this year. Lions 0-1. Then we play the Green Bay Packers. This game's away. Packers, I think. So I did the Packers prediction, assuming that Aaron Rodgers is playing on this team. Who knows what happens, but assuming Aaron Rodgers is there, Lions 0-2. Then we play the Baltimore Ravens. This one's another tough game. That's three tough games in a row. Uh, yeah, they're not beating the Ravens either. 0-3, tough loss. Uh, I mean, brutal schedule, honestly. And the Chicago Bears in Chicago. I don't care who the Chicago Bears quarterback is. This is, I mean, I mean actually, let me rephrase that. I have, imagine Justin Fields lose to the Bears. That would suck. Because Fields could be starting this game. This game's week four. If Fields comes in and he doesn't do great against the Lions defense, that would be brutal. But um, I definitely think the Bears get the job done. I mean, just give it to David Montgomery and he'll destroy the, Bears, the Lions defense. Uh, this should be a free win for the for the Bears for sure. 0-4. Then they play the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota. I think the Lions could potentially beat the Minnesota Vikings, um, but Dalvin Cook can steal the game. The Vikings have a really good receiver core, um, but the Vikings defense can be exposed. However, the Lions don't have that many weapons. Now let me let me just, let me say this: DeAndre Swift, he's a superstar in the making. I do like DeAndre Swift. I like T.J. Hawkinson. He's a really solid tight end as well. Um, besides that, what really are their we other weapons on offense? Um, so the Vikings get the first win here, and they're 0-5. Then they play the Cincinnati Bengals in Detroit. This game also has potential, uh, but, the, you know, I just... The Bengals, I think, are a better team right now. I think offensively, they're a better team. Uh, I like Penny Sewell. Uh, the Lions kind of got Penny Sewell because the Bengals decided to draft Jamar Chase. So I think it'll be an interesting game. This one could be close. Lions could sneak out a win right here, but I just can't give it to them right here which makes them 0-6. Then they play the Los Angeles Rams. Matt Stafford, Jared Goff, revenge game. Put this one on your calendar. Um, yeah, but, you know, if you put this one on your calendar, you watch the first half of this game, it's off by halftime. You, you, you turn the power button off. You're not watching the second half of this game. It's going to be a blowout. Uh, yeah, Matt Stafford, definitely getting the win right here. Jared Goff, oh, I would, I would just say I had COVID that week, honestly. So that's a tough one. 0-7. Then they play that Philadelphia Eagles in Detroit. Uh, depending on how the Eagles come together as a team, this is a winnable game for Detroit. But the Eagles have a solid offense and a solid defense, theoretically, as long as um, they don't get injured. Eagles defense can be exposed, but I just don't think the Lions get the win right here. 0-8. 0-8 heading to the bye. They haven't won. Then they play the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. Steelers, I don't know. I like how they got Dwayne Haskins. I think he's honestly, I think we'll see him play for Pittsburgh sooner than we expect. But I definitely think the Steelers have a better roster overall. Um, 
Can the Lions expose the Steelers' lackluster offensive line? Probably not. Let's be real. 0-9. Then they play the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. Another tough game in the AFC North. Browns get the win right here. They have a, they're a solid team as well. Second game against the Chicago Bears. This one's in Detroit. Bears are probably going to have things figured out right here in terms of the quarterback position. Um, Allen Robinson, David Montgomery, strong defense. Bears get the win. Again, they sweep the Lions, which makes them 0-10. Brutal. And they play the Minnesota Vikings. This game is in Detroit. And guess what? They get their first win of the season. Let's go, Detroit. I'm going to give the Lions the win right here. I'll I'll say they split with Minnesota. Um, Now, honestly, do I think the Vikings are going to lose to the Lions? Not really. But I can't have the Lions losing every game because let's be real. It's kind of hard to go 0-17. So I I think the Lions are definitely going to pick up a win somewhere. I'm going to give it to them right here over the Vikings. Because I don't don't see the Vikings making the playoffs either. So we'll give them the win right here. 1-10. 1-10. in 10. Let's go. First win of the season. And they play the Denver Broncos in Denver. This could be a winnable game as well. Drew Locke's not really a superstar. Um, but the Broncos are a little bit ahead of the Lions right now. So Broncos get the win right here for sure. Then they play the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals are going to be a good team this year. Um, scary offense. Defense. Who? The Cardinals cornerback position is kind of scary. Uh, and not in a good way either. So the, uh, the Cornells do need to upgrade a uh, cornerback and also tight end. But the Cardinals definitely won't lose this one to the Lions. Then the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. Now, hmm, this is a close one. No Julio Jones. No Julio Jones, but Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts is already going to be a superstar by this time, probably. I think the Falcons definitely get the win right here. Um, Falcons fans would be mad if they didn't get the win. Then they play the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. Dude, like all these teams I'm saying, they're just better than the Lions. The Lions might be, I think the Lions are the worst team in the league. Um, but yeah, I, the, if you're going in terms of which team should win every game, the Lions aren't going to be winning that many games. Seahawks get the win. Then they play the Green Bay Packers, the final game of the season in Detroit. The Packers, the Lions' only hope is the Packers aren't trying in this game. And even if the Packers aren't trying, the Lions probably won't be either. Uh, they're going to want the draft capital. So then the Lions go 1-16. and 16. They lose this game. Lions, one win, 16 losses is the official prediction. However, I see the Lions probably getting three or four wins. Uh, I don't know where they're going to come on the schedule, like I said. They have some winnable games, but, you know, in terms of overall talent, I have to say 1-16 because you can't give this team a loss. Like, I can't say I can't say that the Eagles are going to lose because then I would have to put a loss on their schedule that they, should, that they shouldn't belong there. It's kind of hard to predict upsets, especially when it's against horrible teams like this. So I'm going to have the Lions at 1-16 officially, but I could see them getting three or four wins. Nothing special. That's a prediction. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Smash the subscribe button.